Hello everyone, Ali is here from Vancouver Financial Network. I just want to briefly talk about our latest position in Chevron that we have announced actually on Friday, August 20th, 21st. Uh, let's go look at the chart, see what we have seen actually on the chart and uh, what is our forecast for, for the price. Okay, so look at the weekly chart actually. We have seen very, very nice bullish consolidation here on the chart after March low we bounced back and for like a couple of months we will see actually we have seen actually a uh, very very nice bullish con bullish consolidation and it holds a price above 83 which is which is a very very nice pivotal area here and also we just set up a trade around this level like 84 if I believe actually the right number was 84.7 we got into the position for a long position now price actually closed after our position 85 which is at 30 cents actually we are above water nicely and uh, and uh, our stop actually is going to be below 78 which is uh, kind of below all these actually pivots here and also this pivot here uh, which which kind of makes sense if price goes down actually we uh, we we kind of like a, um, expect to see actually more downward price hopefully not actually we are coming back to this to test this trend line on the weekly chart and so our first target actually is going to be a 95 which is here which is on the 61 uh, retracement Fibonacci here 95 so just below that uh, I think we're gonna test even if we can break through or even we can shadow just as a pin bar going above this trend line and test this 69 61 Fibonacci and if we hold above this trend line on weekly chart we're gonna see like a massive rally in Chevron actually it goes all the way up to 105 which is going to be our next target actually down the road we have this uh 50 sma actually is going to be like our first hiccups probably and then a final target actually is going to be uh, uh 111 which is below this uh 200 moving average so let's go to to the daily actually to the daily we have seen very very nice a choppy consolidation which i really like it and uh, it holds price actually about this so i really like if we go to the rsi rsi c actually we have kind of have a bounce back from this level of the rsi and this is a very very nice uh, choppy consolidation it has like a uh, upward bias as you see and we are kind of on the down of this uh, rsi consolidation and if we go to h4 which is which is kind of like a very very nice setup for me if you see here is here is the F h4 actually we have seen price actually a couple of times go to this area and we are going back above the 50 and then going back to the oversold area and we are going back to the 50 and now we are going to the oversold area and on friday i was waiting if price actually can hold above this oversold then we trigger a price we are not gonna uh, take an order here we are not gonna take into the position here just because we don't know if we're gonna bounce back or we're gonna stay here on the oversold area if we stay in oversold area it's gonna be pretty ugly but and I think that it's it's really nice because you've seen actually a couple of times we go to this oversold area, we bounce back, go to the oversold area, we bounce back. And we have like a bullish um, kind of uh, bias here. If you see the price and RSI and also stochastic actually shows that we are kind of at the end of the downward trend and we are going back above. And if we hold above this, if we hold above this 200 moving average, uh, sorry uh yeah 200 moving average we're gonna see actually we're gonna break out easily to 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 our next targets so we will see if uh, price actually is going up again this week in our favor hopefully yes and uh we will uh, we will see actually on the chart next week see and i'm gonna give you updates even on weekly um just basis or uh probably in traffic right have a nice week see you on the chart